Hello, how you doing? Welcome back uh, to another video. Today, today <laughs> we're going to be talking about two upcoming competitive racing events planned out for GCA for, uh, well, for a very long time. Not myself, and I, I had nothing to do with the organizing bit, but uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of these events. There's already been announcements on several YouTube channels, which I'll put a link down in the description for those. There's a lot of hype for these events coming up. Um, the main event that I'm going to be focusing on is the MCEC Season 3, which I'll be taking part for GC1. I managed to qualify, I managed to actually get through and to be uh, able to participate in Season 3 uh, because I didn't actually take part in Season 1 or 2. For Season 2, actually, I, I did take part as a race official and a 4K cameraman. And I, I was able to put that on my CV and uh, send it to Briffy on Noda Forums and he actually accepted me to be uh, to actually take part and to race on GT1. So I think that was pretty awesome. I told my parents about it and they were really happy about it. So they made me green tea and I was able to lose some weight over the course of, I don't know, three, four months. So now I'm mentally prepared for this event. All right, so anyway, that's what, that's what, yeah. Okay, so anyway, why do I say mentally prepared? Well, one and a half hours of racing for 10 weeks, well, nine weeks. One week is a break, I think. It's a 10 week event. One of the weeks will be a break period. But yeah, imagine one and a half hours racing straight every Sundays, which is what I'll be doing for GC1. Plus the competition is absolutely insane in comparison to my recent event, which I took part in was the Declassian Championships, where I managed to do, you know, managed to win every race and that, but don't expect that for MCEC and Sports GC. I'll get into Sports GC pretty soon. That's another event uh, that hosted by Apex Stalkers. So yeah, regarding MCEC, which is going to happen every Sundays, starting from March the 6th on the PlayStation 4. And that event will be taking place on all platforms on PC and Xbox One as well on the days before that. So I think March the 4th and 5th. So yeah, PS4 will be March the 6th. I believe Briffy's taking part on all or every single one of those of all platforms on the same week. So that guy's going to be doing... Oh, wow. Cra crazy amount of hours into those endurance racing. I don't know how he's going to do that, but props to him. Holy shit. I can't even hack on and a half hours. I'll probably get pins and needles, tendonitis on my hands. Like I did beforehand, I got worn out from that. Hopefully that won't be the case because I am much healthier than before. So that should contribute or be a bonus. But anything, uh, when there's a lot of competition, uh, for one and a half hours straight is going to test a lot from you mentally, physically, and just... Uh, yeah, man. Holy shit. It's going to be emotional. Definitely a lot of banter, a lot of banter to expect. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be streaming all of that, covering all of that, just like how I did with the Class of Championships on my YouTube channel. Um, and I'm sure a lot of other people that are taking part will also be streaming on Twitch, YouTube, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, Sports GT now. Sports GT is an event that will start slightly earlier, but will be happening every week as well, along with MCC which I'll be taking part in. Now, Sports GC, I took part in season two. Uh, I used the Obey 9F at the time. I think I came runners up, I'm not sure. And then I believe uh, for season three now, I have to use the Masakura for every single race. There'll be eight tracks, I believe, in total. And there'll be two races on that day. It'll be happening every Fridays. That's also, I'm in GC1 as well. So Masakura is a car that I've never used. So I'm having to learn that from now, like from scratch. And it's a car that completely goes against my personal prefer preferred driving style, but that's going to be the challenge. And that should be interesting to watch because in that series as well, there's a lot of competition and uh, it's going to be similar to MCEC. It's going to be extremely tough, but it should be fun. So with how Sports GT is going to work, it's not multi-class or anything like that. It's just stuck with sports class, but everyone's in different variety of sports cars, but only the top tier sports cars, right? So we've got the Masakura Obey 9F, Comet, you got all these awesome, really quick uh, cars, including the Felts as well. And it's going to be like qualifying during the week. You know, I think you only get one qualifying lap, three laps in total. First is the warm up, and third lap you go into the pit, sort of like how the F1 worked. So you only get one chance to uh, fix your starting grid position. And then from that, the first race will be a sprint race with reverse order of the actual qualifying lap, which will, I think, be like 10 minutes or 12 minutes. And then the second race right after that with no breaks will be 45 minute endurance race for the actual qualifying times. Hopefully that makes sense. So in a way we're doing about hour racing, you know, on Friday, and then I'm doing one and a half hour racing straight 
on Sunday on the same week. So two different events. They have nothing to do with each other, by the way. Um, the Sports GC is hosted by Apex Stalkers, which is one of the racing crews out there. Uh, of course, MCC is hosted by Bruffy and Nodo themselves. And I'm just taking part on both, really. So, yeah, you, you should expect to see some awesome racing, hopefully. Because, like I said, the peeps that are taking part in this, in this, both, both of these series and events are really experienced and know a lot about each other in terms of chemistry. So, hopefully, uh, everything goes smoothly. And the organization, I must say, is, is insane for both these events. There's so much detail going into it. I'll leave the posts and information regarding both these events down below in the description as well, where people will explain in detail. But yeah, uh, for MCC, is also a team championship as well. It's not only for individual drivers. I'm, I'm part of the West Coast Classics. Uh, and Mac Bow and GC2 is my teammate, along with Drew Burton GC3. So yeah, that's, that should be exciting, man. You know, or, or every single teammate in the three GT classes for MCEC will have the same car mods and color combos going. And even in terms of the tires, everyone's got to use the same tuner tires. I think Endo V1 or something like that. But it just depends on the race itself, really. So uh, yeah, I mean, everything's out there on the plate. You just got to follow the rules and that's about it. It's not... Like this, this is sort of like, um, you know, the, the one and a half hour multi-class endurance race. There's no like pit stops or anything like that. I think the Sports GT does have one mandatory joker lap, but not an actual official pit stop like we used to have. So yeah, every event's got a different set of rules. It just depends on whatever the host prefers. So uh, yeah, the only sort of downside to these, uh, not to these organized events is that uh, obviously with a lot of time and effort going into it, and it's like, official like a few weeks before the actual event starts and the tracks are out there the cars are out there the teams and players have selected now it's like putting in the practice and just becoming more and more consistent and becoming consistently quick without making mistakes fair enough you put all these hours of practice and when the actual race day comes you know everyone's prepared you know host is up you know the race is about to start and you're 45 minutes into the race you got half an hour or somewhat to go next thing you know you disconnect right and disconnections are inevitable, but when it does happen, it can be extremely depressing. You know, that's why sometimes I prefer spontaneous events where it's on the dot. You just get whoever online into an open session and just do a you know, random picking team playlist and just get it done on the spot because that doesn't really require you know, hours of paying attention beforehand. It's just on the dot, get to it and just do it. And that, if you're disconnecting those, it's fine. You know, it's not that annoying compared to disconnecting after hours of pre preparing for a particular race, especially when you're doing an hour and a half straight. So that is the only thing I, I'm hoping it doesn't happen to me or for anyone that's participating, because I know how frustrating that is. And uh, obviously, um, it'll play a huge part for the actual points as well, because obviously it's like a championships, you know, everything adds up. And I believe you're only allowed to, you know, not take part in one of the races as a, a sort of, if it's an emergency and you can't take part, but you have to take part in every other one. And if you don't, I think you get kicked out of the series. Other than that, if you do disconnect, that's quite unfortunate, you know, but it's going to happen, I'm sure. Hopefully that's only happened to me once. I say that, but I, I wish it doesn't happen to me at all, but you know, I'm not going to have my hopes up. I'm going to go into this, uh, uh, both of these series with expectations of winning. That's something that I cannot do. Uh, it's just, it, holy shit, it's going to be like, Wow, it's, it's going to be tough. The, these two events are going to be hella tough, you know. I'm aiming to be as consistent as possible and not to make mistakes. And that's the priority. Um, it's, it's definitely going to be a lot of adrenaline rush going. And it should be fun, man. It should be fun. This is like uh, the highest level of competition from any of the recent racing events we've seen. I mean, since F1 Championships, which was a while back for season two. But it's sort of like that replicated with less less restrictions and less rules and um, more open tracks. And, you know, it's, it's uh, more sort of the multi-class form, I guess. So it should be freaking fun. So hopefully you guys do tune in. I thought I'd make this video just to let you guys know what's going on, you know, what's, what's going to happen in the next few weeks. So this is the primary focus for these two events. And so, uh, yeah, hopefully um, it all goes smooth and... You guys enjoyed this little race with a laggy car. And yeah, thanks for supporting so far. So yeah, let's uh, let's go into this with no expectations, guys. You know, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Very guys, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, doctor.